Hey folks, uh, Beginner Bob here. Listen, I'm going to do a little uh, review on this thing I purchased. It's called iDrive. And uh, this is an interesting little product. Uh, it's going to help with my throttle control uh, for my Jeep JK, which you can see behind me. Uh, basically what's happening is that when I drive my Jeep, it's a 3.6 liter, um, it has a hesitation in the throttle and you know you get a little sick of it sometimes. Uh, when you have, I have 35 inch tires on mine and uh, if you have anything bigger than that like 37s or 40s um, it's really going to bog it down. I haven't changed my gearing or anything yet so I thought I would try this first because what I understand is it has four modes. Uh, the first one is normal mode which is your OEM uh, style. Um, then there's an uh, economy mode and the economy mode is supposed to help you save on gas which is good for me. Uh, there's an auto mode, which you just put in auto mode and it'll adjust the throttle to your driving response. Um, so if you're traveling down the highway, doing just fine, you want to pass someone, um, it'll give you that little kick in the butt to uh, get around that person. And then uh, there's the ultimate mode, and that's the one I'm looking forward to. Uh, my understanding is, is that the ultimate mode is the one that really will squeal the tires on a Jeep Wrangler, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, it's called iDrive, if you guys want to check it out. Um, I just installed it in mine, so it was a little snug getting in there. I'm five foot nine. You know, I've had a few beers in my life, but, you know, everybody does. So it was a little tight. I'll try and give you a, a quick review of what I got going on in here and uh, show you what the module looks like. But it's basically, the way I got it in there was I had to disconnect the throttle uh, cable from uh, the top of the throttle. And finding it was really uh, feeling by braille because I couldn't see anything up in there. But once I was able to get that connection off, everything was fine. The new one plugged in right away and then the original throttle cable plugged into the actual module itself. And let me see if I can show you what I got going on. So I got the wires down here and let me see if I can get up under here. If you can see that. Somewhere up in there is my throttle and the little iDrive module is plugged into that. And then I haven't mounted it yet, but this is what it looks like. So this is a uh, little screen that, that you can use. It has a manual mode and then you can adjust the settings on it. Um, I'm going to figure out how to mount it right here. It has some tape on the back of it so I can stick it to there. And it's right next to the key. And that way, as I'm driving, I can see which mode I'm in and uh, use it that way. So anyway, I'm going to get this installed and uh, see how it turns out. And then I'll let you guys know uh, what it does for me and maybe it'll work for you guys as well. Anyway, it was good talking to you and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, folks. All right. So I've got my iDrive system installed right now and uh, I'm going down the road here. And I decided to put it in ultimate mode because why not? So I'm only cruising along at about five miles an hour right now and let's see what happens. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so throttle response is extremely well. And uh, I'm on a little bit of a bumpy road, sorry about that. But man, oh man. As soon as I just barely tap the throttle, it is it is responsive. Wow, I'm glad I bought this. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, so anyway, my review is a big thumbs up on this one. Uh, if you want to get the iDrive for your JK Jeep or any uh, uh, fly-by-wire throttle, get it, please. I, I highly endorse this product. Listen. These guys didn't ask me to do a review on this. I just bought it and did it, and uh, man, I'm impressed. All right, I'm going to go have some fun. Take care, guys.